Sellers, welcome to my 12 day Halloween spooktacular. Starting today I'm going to upload a video every single day leading up to Halloween. I'm going to upload DIY videos, Halloween decor, nail tutorials, makeup ideas, costume ideas, and I know you guys have been asking for my scary story, so that's on the way as well, so stay tuned, there's going to be something for everyone. Today we're going to start off with a really simple DIY, and this is something that you can use to decorate your own room or to prepare your house for a Halloween party. We're going to make faux candles, which are meant to mimic the appearance of tapered candles. These are really inexpensive to make, so you can make a ton of these and really set the stage for a spooky night. Alright, so let me reach into my handy dandy cauldron to see what we need for this project. The first thing you'll need for this project is white paper, paper and toilet paper rolls, tea lights, scissors, and a glue gun. All right, let's get the show on the road. All right guys, so you're gonna start off by measuring your paper around your paper towel or toilet paper roll. Go ahead and mark the length and then cut off from that point. Next, just take this piece of paper and roll it around your roll. Then take your glue gun or just any other kind of glue and add some glue to the end flap here, then use your hands to press down on it. This is pretty self-explanatory, but um, yeah, it's pretty much all I have to do for these. Now, for the bigger candles, you can use paper towel rolls or you can glue together two toilet paper rolls. Then after this point, you're gonna repeat the same process as the smaller candles. All right, so once you finish wrapping your rolls, now it's time to create the wax. For this, you are going to need several sticks of glue and a glue gun. Start releasing the glue in thick trails running down the rolls. You want to mimic the appearance of wax, so make this as thick as possible. You might end up using about six to seven sticks of glue per big tube and half of that for a smaller one. So you're gonna use quite a bit, but it'll be worth it in the end. Plus you can use these every year for decoration, so it's not like it's a one-time thing that you're wasting, you know? So just go ahead and make really thick layers, basically. Um, your hand might get tired, so take breaks now and then. I found that the key to making this look realistic is the top. Focus on creating a lot of messy, thick layers of glue on the top here. Try to imagine what a candle looks like when it's melting and just try to you know, imitate that wax formation. Then once you're done with the top, go ahead and run over the pieces on the bottom one more time just to make sure that they'll be nice and thick and visible from a distance. And that's pretty much what it should look like. Once you're happy with it, go ahead and clean off the glue strings and pick up your tea lights. They should fit in pretty well. Um, I haven't had too many problems getting these to fit in, but um, if you have trouble you know, having them stay in there, add some more glue at the edges and that'll just help to add some more pressure to keep them inside and to prevent them from falling down. And that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you enjoy. Did you know that the origin for why witches are depicted as flying it all started with the mandrake plant? The mandrake plant is something that was used in a lot of herbal old time medicines and things and witches used to use them for a lot of supernatural reasons as well. So what they would do is they would make things out of this plant and then they would apply it to their skin. But what that resulted in was hallucinations and feelings of floating. So that's why witches are thought to be these creatures that used to fly. It all really started with a mandrake plant and hallucinations. All right guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to stop by tomorrow for another Halloween video. If you make this project, please go ahead and hashtag your photos with 12 days of Halloween so I can find them and like them. Also, please take a moment to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like me on Facebook so you can stay up to date with all of the videos I'll be uploading. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be well and sweet styling. You will also need as peaceful as I imagine this group. I feel like I should do a witch's cackle for this. Shall I try? <laughs> oh, that was good, that was good.